Hey guys, it's Katie, and I'm here with Rose, which is really close to my name, Mick Rose. And uh, she's a Jacob sheep here in Azle, Texas. I really enjoy sharing the Jacob sheep because they are a primitive breed and they've been around for a long time. But the really cool part are the four horns that they have. You can see distinctly the two here that protrude up, and then there's one over here by her ear on each side. Now what's really cool is the rams, they get four horns too, but they grow massive. Um, but not often do you see female species have such cool uh, battle weapons. So uh, this is a cool breed because of that. It does leave a lot of bruises on a shearer's body because of that. But these are more of a coarse wool sheep and typically they're gorgeous underneath. So I'm really excited to get this one done and show you guys what's in there. If you're into the sheep shearing thing or maybe alpacas and llamas, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if not, stick around for the shearing and see if you like it. Maybe by the end you'll change your mind. I love to see a perfectly gawk tail. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect. So satisfying. Okay, she didn't like compliments. with those horns there. Okay. Well, Rose is done with my stuff, but check out how beautiful those colors are. She's in a hurry, so I'm going to let her go so we can check out the fleece. Oh, man. There's nothing like seeing black and white fleece together, especially where it was so close to the skin and none of the sun has bleached it yet. Truly beautiful. There's not even really a blend that goes on. There's almost just stark lines of black versus white. So let's pull one of these and look at it. Look at that. I pulled out a little bit of the crimp, but you can see in there, not as tight as some of the fine wool ble breeds, but still really cool. Let's get a black strand. I'm out of breath. All right, look at those two next to each other. Just shows you the power of the sun. Down here is next to the skin where it's growing out that black pigmentation. And the stuff that was left from last year, it's all sun bleached and broken on the tips there. It's super duper cool. And if I didn't even get the best crimpy stuff, look at this. Super pretty. Look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, let's get a weight on this thing. We'll make sure it's in pounds because I'm American and three pounds. That's nothing, it is so light. I think that has to be with the low production of lanolin. I mean, 
there's so much fiber there, which really means that when you wash this thing, you're gonna get a higher yield, right? Because it's not as dirty, it doesn't have as much oil and grease in it. Well, some of that fine wool stuff it is weighted down with oil, so maybe I'm being unfair. Maybe we should do washed fleeces. Don't know where I'm gonna get those, but maybe one day I'll find some washed fleeces. But anyways, we'll see you guys next time. Amazing. <coughs> You can't hear me very well while I'm shearing. But this, all of that lanolin. Look how beautiful that cramp and the curl is.